Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another indie horror game. This is Midnight Special, um, a gripping point and click survival horror game that pays tribute to 70s and 80s cinema. Reminiscent of games such as Clock Tower, we'll be playing as a babysitter that finds herself going through bizarre events as we unravel the mystery of the mansion we're babysitting at. Uh, now my idea of a midnight special is being slowly roused from sleep, the duvet is being gently pulled away from my slumbering body, only to be presented with a German Donner Kebab. Now I don't know where your thoughts are going with that trial, but it makes me respect you less with your filthy thoughts. So let's go once more into the breach of my ghouls as we play Midnight Special. Thornridge, Maine, July 1987. Boyd Manor, 9.04 p.m., Friday. Sarah. Sarah, where are you? I'm outside having a fag. Having a little ciggy. Are we in control? I think we are. All right. Um, I'm already digging the visual aesthetic here. Um, the the kind of uh, Mega Drive 16-bit soundtrack type of thing going on. Uh, right. Let's have a look here. Oh, I wonder what all the commotion is about. New objectives. What's all the hubbub? Press O to see objectives because that would make sense. What is all the hubbub? Let's find out. You were taking a break from studying. Is that what we were doing? Okay. When the kids call, find out what the commotion is about. All right. Creepy dolls. On the chaise lounge. Um, can I not see what's... Okay, this is now out of my control. Oh, we expect. Elegant cobalt blue Victorian teapot with delicate floral patterns and gold accents. Oh, yes. Bedtime. Talk to Eli. Okay, so... Um, Eli's been waiting patiently in bed. Alright. Well, Eli can wait. So, right, this is this is a demo, by the way. Not the full game, but it's looking quite good. Let's look at the bust. She creeps me out. Why would anyone wittingly put this in their own house? Because it looks metal as fuck. A painting of a creepy little girl. Ah, inspect the grandfather clock. A beautiful grandfather clock. Can we interact with it, though? We can. Okay, so that might... We might have to... There's all... Come on. Come on. With these type of games, you always have to interact with the grandfather clock. Uh, we don't want to turn it off. Let's leave that on. Not big on entomology. And then, look at this. What, we can't inspect? Yeah, we've got to inspect the bearskin rug. Look at this guy. He's going to be getting up later on. Friendly looking fellow. Mm. And looking at the bass that looks like mutated bass. I used to enjoy going fishing with my dad when I was a kid. All right. Got the firewood holder here. The flames can't do that. I should also try inspecting. Oh, okay. Well, let's inspect the fireplace. I can't reach in there. I need to put out the fire first, so that could be something. Nice and toasty. And we have an in chest here. It's locked. I need a key. Arg! Advice to you, matey. Ah. Elegant, slender blade with intricate hilt crafted with precision. Can we take it? Come on, Sarah. I should also try inspecting... Not that, apparently. Let's inspect the couch. Beautiful puke green chair. Hmm. 
Let's go into the kitchen. Oh, here's... Is this Eli? No, this is John. This is the other kid. Um, so we missed something. All right, let's talk to John. Talk to John. Why aren't you in bed? I'm sorry, Sarah. It's just... Let's hear him out. All right. Let's hear it. What'll it be tonight? Hot cocoa? Peanut butter and jelly or a big old bowl of frosted jumbo wheat shards? What time is this? Really shouldn't be giving kids food at this time of the night, but okay. PBJ! 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 Alright, alright, settle down. See, this is the thing. I'll make you one, but you have to go to bed afterwards. Deal? Deal. Thanks, Taylor. All right, make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Um, what was that? Press what, sorry? Oh, I missed that. Uh-oh. Well, okay, let's go to the pantry because it's being highlighted for me right here. Um, okay, so I can take the bread. I can take the peanut butter. And I can take the jelly. So, lighter. Okay. That's good to know that I have that in my inventory. So what do we just... How do we actually mix them together? Okay, hang on, hang on. Let's get out of this. No, apparently can't. How do I combine the items? I want to combine, but I cannot combine. Um... Okay. Ah. Right. Here we... That's what I wanted. Okay. Now we can... What are my perks? You can get perks? That's pretty... That's pretty good. I like this. I like the whole kind of Resident Evil style looking... You've got a condition here. I wonder if this will be health or our insanity meter. I want to know what happens here as things happen. Are we going to go crazy? I don't know. Well, we let's get the bread... Oh, okay, we've taken the bread out, uh, get the peanut butter. Is that jelly? No? Oh, I see, we put it on the other side, and then we combine to make the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So now I have that. I take it I'm... No? The good old PB&J. Not as good as a midnight special German Donner Kebab. But I digress. Right, so this little fart knocker here, who's up past his bedtime. We can use the plate. Okay, I see. Let's inspect John. Can we inspect John? John's not in bed. Yeah, we, we ascertain that as he's... He probably wants a snack. Hmm. All right. So if I get that now... Can I... How do I use the... Ah, uh, a good... Right. Hmm. Usually it's at the top. Usually, oh no. Right, I figured it out. It took me a while. So, hang on. This may need to be looked at because usually in these type of games, you take the sandwich, you bring it out and it's right there. You have to close the inventory screen and then it's there for you to, so. All right, there you go, John, you little fuckface. This is just going to be sugar before the end of the night. You're going to be bouncing off the walls. You already look like you're bouncing on the chair. Thank you, Sarah. That was delicious. Could I ask for one more thing? Could you get Mr. Happy? I've lost him, and I can't go to sleep without him. Of course you can't, little shit biscuit. Of course you can't. I mean, am I going to be the strict babysitter here? All right, we'll get Mr. Happy. Otherwise, this guy is going to piss his pants later on. It's going to be, yeah, let's just get Mr. Happy. Who's Mr. Happy? Okay, where is Mr. Happy? I don't remember where I last saw him. Of course you don't. All right, all right, I'll find him. Right, so we need to find Mr. Goddamn Happy. Let's look in the mirror first. My hair is fine. All right, Sarah. Bit vain. Little bit vain. Uh, can we? 
no, we can't go to side. So we have to find Mr. Goddamn Happy. We took Oh, that's on. I thought it was off. Okay. Um Mr. Happy. What miss if I was Mr. Happy, what would I look like? Can we run as we can ah uh, it's a bit of a there we go ah a a dinosaur so can i no no sir yeah we don't like we don't like dolls that are i don't like it what don't we like oh okay she just walked away but that did open the music's changed we go to the library? Door won't budge. Okay. We do have a phone there. There were a lot of items that I missed on the first walkthrough here. I don't know what that little sound meant though. A little change in um I don't know if I like the fact that we can actually run. God damn it. Way past bedtime. Right, let's look at some of the Egyptian. What's all the hubbub? John's in the kitchen. He's not. He's moved. And Eli's upstairs. Okay, bedtime. Talk to Eli. He enjoyed his peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It did take me forever to make. It is your specialty after all. God, that doesn't say much. For God damn. All right, we found Mr. Happy. Right, so now, way past bedtime. Find out... Make sure John is in bed. Talk to John. Talk to John. Um, where do I, how do I, is this, how do I get out? Ah, hang on. Sorry, I, it looked like there were some steps there. It was very, hmm. All right, we got says, right. A whole new world has opened up. I'm not sure I like the fact that there's phones on every level here. Because that probably means that we're going to be getting phone calls, right? Still got that empty dial tone. Let's look at the little doggo. Why are you going all the way over here to... Hey, I said look at the painting. Where are you going? Come here. Inspect the painting of the dog, damn it. All right. This lovely young lady is Eli, short for Elizabeth. Oh, okay. Yep. She reminds me of myself growing up. I used to have an imaginary friend too. She's a sweet kid and quite bright. And that's Jonathan Jr. This strapping young man is John Jr. Poor kid. He never had much of a father figure. Charlie does what he can. He sometimes plays catch with him, looks out for him. But there's no one quick fix. But there's no one quick fix for years of an absent male presence. Okay, so we're already getting the kind of feeling that maybe this is a fractured family. Um, where are the fam where are the family tonight? We haven't really ascertained what the parents are doing yet. The attractive woman on the left is Angela. She got married into money when she was young, or at least that's what the town gossips say. The way she talks about John, I get the feeling she loved his mind more than anything else. The money was just a plus. Okay. And then Jonathan. That's John Senior. I've never met him personally. But people's accounts of him seem to conflict because he had a polarizing personality. Hmm. Interesting. No, we don't want to go to the second floor. Well, let's check out this floor first. This is a mansion after all. Oh. I see. So, is this... Yeah, okay. So this isn't really a health bar. More of an insanity meter. Okay. Let's look at the statue. Every time it gets me. Usually, it's not accompanied by Stan w Oh. Usually, it's not accompanied by Stan Winston's special effects, though. Hmm. Another painting of a dog. What? No, I don't want the statue. I want the... The scone over here. No. Okay, okay, apparently can't do that. Right, the bedrooms are over here. And that's not a creepy teddy. If ever I've seen one. A stuffed teddy bear. Can I take him? No, not possible. Yeah, I tried that. We've got the fire truck over here. 
Not possible. The toy fire truck. The ball? Come on. Alright, so this is John's room. So the little squirt had his little peanut butter and jelly sandwich and then ran up to his room. Um, what have we got here? Inspect the movie poster. Slash! Ah, yes. The poster for the infamous Red Menace slasher film. Hollywood's take on Russia didn't exactly help relations between the two countries. Mm. Why does John have this in his room? He's way too young to watch this junk. Hmm. Summer of 1980. I was 10. So now we know, kids, that the year is 1990. No. That doesn't make any sense. Sorry. That, I was thinking that was a puzzle thing. We don't know. The Red Menace has been added. Um, we've got a little poster here. So, actually, looking at things... Adds to your notes. So that might come up with other things. So what do we got here? Plushy. Not possible. Alright. Yeah. Cute little guy. I heard they want to make a game with him as the lead. I guess we'll have to wait and see. The mole plushie. Alright. I'm getting mascot vibe vibes here. I'm getting mascot vibes. The scared, stupid, incorporated plushie mascot is the best friend you'll ever have or need. It can walk, talk, sing. It can do everything. Ah, I like that commercial. Interesting. So maybe we're going to use him, the scared, stupid... All right. Maybe we can use the plushie to... At some point, distract things if it sings? I don't know. Let's use the trash can. Let's see. Not possible. Let's inspect the trash can. Right, I thought there might be something inside it. Right, let's talk to John. We got him, Mr. Happy. I see someone is still having trouble getting under the covers. Would you like me to read you a bedtime story? No, I'm ten. I'm too old for bedtime stories. Sarah? Yes? Did you find Mr. Happy? I sure did. Where do you want him? Gimme, gimme, gimme! He'll sleep with me tonight. That way he can guard the door. Alright, champ. He's all yours. Good night. There you go. Got Mr. Happy. I should turn off the light and let him sleep. We're not gonna put the covers on him? No, nope, we're just going over to the light. Alright. Yes. Could you turn on the nightlight? For Mr. Happy. He's afraid of the dark. Sure. I'll turn on the light for Mr. Happy. But what about you? Isn't the light going to keep you awake? Uh, no. I'm used to it. Alright. Yeah. Alright, kid. Can't kid a kidder, John. Oh. Hmm. What's wrong? Nothing. Just, just tired. Please turn on the nightlight. Mr. Happy's getting scared. Alright. Yeah, there was something in the window. There are so many things you can look at. I'm, I'm quite impressed. Oh. Did the movie poster suddenly change as well? It's all gone right. What the hell? Are my eyes playing tricks on me? Yeah. Yeah. But, um, there's quite a few objectives here. You've read one too many periodicals and you're starting to see things. Hmm. So the Red Menace is an objective. That's interesting. Um, that might be something that inspect the crack in the window. The bird must have flown into it. Poor little thing. Of course it did. Of course it did. Um, let's look at these drawings here as well. Some cute drawings made by John when he was four. How time flies. So, yep, yeah, okay. And then you've got the Admiral 128. Wow. Admiral 128. It boasts some impressive specs. 1 megahertz CPU, <laughs> 128 kilobyte RAM, and 16 colors. State of the art. We use them in computer science class. Oh, man. 
Okay. Oh, we got to Eli's room then. So, adjoining bedrooms. Well, John's asleep now. We gave him Mr. Happy. He's fine. Um, oh, I like the fairy lights that Eli's got. But Eli, Elizabeth, okay. Look at the doll here. Sarah, is that you? Yes, hun. I didn't wake you, did I? No, I was hoping you'd tell me a bedtime story. Sure, pumpkin. Same as usual, or something new? Something new! Alright. Well, we see a, there's a storybook there, but we're going to look at this doll first. What a surprise. Another creepy doll. We've got a nurse doll here as well. I don't know how Eli's about to sleep. It's Elizabeth, so, yeah, okay. Um, let's grab the book. Michael K. Doll. I like the fact that this doll's got his own name. I can immediately recognize the quality works of Michael K. anywhere. He's an amazing doll maker. I have one myself. Hmm. Yes, doll makers. Let's take the trash. Now, that's interesting. So what is the trash? Can I... I should inspect this closer. Yeah. Ah. Part of a drawing left. Hmm. Dog? This seems familiar. Okay, so we're... Interesting. Okay. Well, for now, let's uh, read story time to young Elizabeth. There was once a girl. There was once a meek little girl who stumbled into a dark and gloomy forest. Her parents, preoccupied with their own bickering, hadn't even noticed. She ventured into deep, all the more shrouded in haze, but got turned around, becoming ever more dazed. She chanced upon a cloche, gold glimmering in the moon, threw caution to the wind and revealed the following gloom. Inside a beating heart, grotesque its sounds did make, perhaps this is a dream, perhaps this is all fake. She reached to touch the heart, but got frightened by a squawk. This is hardly appropriate. Oh, this... <laughs> I thought she was still... It had a very Edgar Allan Poe-esque uh, Raven-style feel to it. This is hardly appropriate for children, but it did the job. She's asleep. I didn't realize we'd come back to Sarah's monologuing. Um, okay, so yeah, she's she's out. She's dead. She's dead to the world. Um, fairy lights. We've got the collection of dolls here. Um, do I, that's on, do I turn it, I'm gonna, can I inspect this, then draw? No. Probably should turn the light off. Well, I'm getting the feeling that Elizabeth is older than John, so, you know, she can do that herself if she wakes up. Look at Flower Pot. Eli takes such good care of her things. Ah. The parents' area. Aha! So, hmm, interesting. Okay, this was the... Oh, very shining S-triangle. Red... <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, I like the nods. I'm liking the aesthetic. So, this drawer... This is what we saw. There's nothing here. Can we use the drawers? Some drawers. So in our, what is, what's happened here? That seems to be the dog on the left, but I don't understand what this is. The drawing matches this portion of the room. What does that mean? Do I take, can I take the dog? The head is coming loose. Ah, unscrew the head. Ah. There's something inside. Lower half of key. Ah. Modulator key, hey? Can I inspect that? No, apparently not. Uh, go to bathrooms. Let's try the bathrooms. I need the master key. So I need, uh, I guess, the other half of the key, I guess, right? Can I look at this dog? Not possible. I did. I am trying that, but it's not working.
So I got the T, okay. So right, I'm gonna need the master key. So I do have one half of a key, lower half of modular key. How am I putting these keys together? Am I a blacksmith? Oh, hang on. I do have a lighter. There we go, shiny, shiny. So, okay, hang on, there we go, right, so we need to light areas to cure our insanity or our displeasure of things happening. There's nothing here. Shelf full of junk. Really? Nothing? There was something... Aha. A loose floorboard. This place is falling apart. I can't pry that open with my bare hands. Uh, do I have any? I don't have anything. We'll come back to you. We know you're there now. That's something. Uh, right, so let's go to the tea room. Ah. Uh. Well, where's my spare key set? So, right, the kids are in bed. We found Mr. Happy, that's complete. Right. Way past head bedtime, that's complete. Complete. Red Menace, that's still active. What's all the hubbub? Complete, complete, complete. They're all complete. Apart from the Red Menace, so I can see. Hmm. Talk to robot. Try that. A vintage robot. Uh, go down to the rumpus room. Hells yeah. Everyone loves a rumpus room. Oh, look at this place. These kids are spoiled. These kids are spoiled little shits. Uh, what do we have here? I'm going to inspect a uh, projector screen. A projector screen, yes. Can we turn on the projector? I need to turn the lights off. Uh... And that's probably going to affect my... All right, well, let's just check out the room first. Swept to ruin off my wavelength. Swallowed her up. You're the biggest thing since powdered milk. All right. Uh, there's nothing here that I can... Oh, we've got a lava lamp. I see you, lava lamp. Wherever there's a beanbag, a lava lamp isn't far behind. It's very true. Can we take it? No, we don't have use for it. It's quite hypnotic and beautiful, though. All right. This gaudy vinyl monstrosity really ties the room together. It pairs surprisingly well with the 19th century priceless piano. And then let's get the record player. An Ongaki branded record player. Can we play it? I need vinyl in order to use this. They have to be around here somewhere. Okay, so we're going to be playing vinyl records. Ah. Well, wouldn't you know it? Some vinyl. Flip through the vinyl collection, yeah. Hmm, what's this? This is interesting. Oh. Soft serve vengeance. Loaded gun. Well, let's put you on. I see. That's just the... I get it. Alright, um... Let's turn the light switch off. There we go. Now let's play the... What's in the reel? I need film reels in order to use this. Oh, I don't have any, no? What's this? This is interesting. Ah, yes. Wouldn't you happen to know it? What are we watching here? Scared Trooper presents Humphrey in Boats of Plenty. Is this like Steamboat Willie? Yeah, it's pretty Steamboat Willie-ish, but there is some kind of thing underneath the floorboards. Is that it? Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. What a fun cartoon. Yeah, I feel that there's going to be more to that that meets the eye. All right. Interestingly. So we have a loose for law board. We have um, the red menace. I should study, but I can't. I need some rest. I'm starting to hallucinate. Yeah, we did see something in the window. No rest for the wicked. That be the... Yeah. Get back to studying. Where was I studying then? There was an upper floor. So I think we should probably... Oh, and it's just this is just beginning now. Got some rats. I mean, that was a good tutorial. To let you know the kind of basics, the mechanics of how things work. The inventory was a little janky. Um, I would say that you should be able to click off the actual area of where your inventory is, and then that should present itself in the real world. But apart from that, everything has been fine. Music's banging. You've got that clock tower aesthetic going on. And I guess we're um, on the chaise lounge. We're not going to sleep though. Or perhaps we are. We've woken up in the forest. Well, we know from the mechanic that she's fine. She's fine. Going into darkness. How do I end up here? I need to check on the kids. Hmm. I suspect the tombstone. Quoth the Raven, nevermore. Yeah, I was thinking that when she was when she was um getting Angela. Oh, when she was It's pitch black. I need to use my lighter. I see, right? Oh, I just click it now, and all of a sudden I have Immediate light. Okay, well that makes sense, I guess. It's interesting. I wonder if this will be playing later on. I can't run, the light will blow out. So you can only walk with the lighter. Interesting. I'm thinking there might be... It's got the dark path. No? Ah, uh, are we in a loop? Maybe I shouldn't have gone up the dark path. What the? Back here again? So we flick the lighter on. Yeah, when she was um, speaking to Elizabeth and um, telling a bedtime story that was probably not suitable for children, I was thinking I did get the uh, Edgar Allan Poe vibe. What is this? A weird object stuck in the grass. Well, let's yank it out, shall we? Because that's what you have to do in point-and-click adventures. You have to click on everything. Ah. Oh, it's a beating heart. So yeah, this is very Edgar Allan Poe-esque. So far. How is it still moving? I don't want to touch that. Alright. And we do have a raven up here. Look at unkindness. Interesting. Can't talk to you though. All right. We have a flame. Can't do that. Right. It requires an offering. Ah. Okay. So. Um. Oh. Pro will eat the heart. And the heart explodes. Because because of course it does. Can I grab the raven? No, the raven flies away. But leaves a feather. Aha. And we shall take the raven's feather. And we shall offer it to the fire. What this means... I'm not entirely sure. Or 
maybe... Ah. Can we... No. I'm just, I'm just trying other things, you know? I'm just trying other things. So let's put the feather in here then. Because that seems to be the only thing that... But I'm assuming that we're dreaming, right? It's all very dreamscape-esque, you know? We're going up the hidden path. Oh no. Oh no. That's a blood trail. I've seen my blood trails in my time. What is this leading to? That looks like blood. The trail seems to lead to that statue. Hmm. Never a good sign. I don't know... What's the monolith? Seems to be very similar to the raven statue from before. And then you've got a fence here with more blood on it. I wonder what's on the other side. What the... She's run away. What is that thing? Oh. There's a thing there. I don't think I should get close to that thing. Oh, I kind of do, though. Yeah, okay. We're going to stay away from that. We're just going to run. Oh! What the fudge? There seems to be something poking out of his ribcage. I need something sharp. Oh. I've inspected him and... Oh, wow. Talk to Bob's friend. Oh! Look, Bob. A visitor. Um, hello? Who said that? It's me. Bob's roommate and tenant. Who's Bob? Bob's the twitchy fellow you see before you. Oops. I think we hurt his feelings. Okay. So then, who are you? Why, I'm Bob's roommate and tenant. You see, I met Bob some time ago, shortly after he met Mr. Blob. There's no way to get around Mr. Blob, not if he can see you. So, if you don't want me as your tenant, I'd still clear of the fence. Oops, my casserole is burning. I have to go. Bye. Okay, Bob. Bob's not here, man. The smell is nauseating. My body is telling me to back away. All right. So, are we meant to cut, cut Bob down? Can we, hang on. Can we burn the ropes? Is that a thing? Apparently not. We need something sharp, she said. Okay, so don't go near the fence. That's the blob, obviously, that Bob's tenant was referring to. Now we have a pond. A strange compulsion overcomes me, compelling me to take a step closer. Mm. My feet are sinking into the soft, damp earth surrounding the pond. Better be careful. Well, if I go left, there's Mr. Blob. If I go right, I'm going into a pond. I guess I'm meant to? My eyes widen as I catch a glimpse of my reflection in the still waters. The image is distorted, as if the pond holds a secret I'm not meant to fully comprehend. I reach out tentatively, my fingertips grazing the surface of the water. It's cool and smooth, sending a tingling sensation through my hand. What's this? Feels like a metal chain. Well, if ever I've known anything about these type of games, you pull the chain. As I pull on the chain, the pond begins to drain like a bathtub. Hmm. I still want to try out Mr. Blob, but okay. I guess I'm doing this. Ah. One of Eli's old stuffed toys. I never got around to sewing it back together. Hmm. This is the place where things go to die. Deer head. A taxidermy deer, yes. There's something off about this one. I just can't put my finger on what it is. Some inspector wine barrels here. Wine seems to be leaking from multiple barrels. 
There's also an off-putting smell coming from the barrels. I need something sharp to pry them open. Apparently I need something sharp. Oh, but we can turn the candles on. So actually, that's interesting because no conditioning there. Yeah. I've got a broken TV here. An old broken down TV. Oh, we've got more light sources. I feel like, yeah, we're needing to put things on. So, I mean, it doesn't really offer us much. Nothing of importance here. Oh, uh, broken doll. Hmm. The young girl has a problem, apparently. Do I get to find this other half of the key? Can't do that. I should also try inspecting. Nothing of importance. Just dust and cobwebs. Got broken statues. This, uh, always, always a fuse box. Can we turn on lights? Hmm. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. Oh. Boy. There you go. What is that? Oh, what is that? Oh, we don't like that. Forget it. I don't want to know. Is that the blob? Is that Mr. Blob? Yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna head back. Oh, the lights are going out as well. Run! Run, woman! Why did that turn on? Let's get out of here. Oh, the deer head. No, 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 no. Where's the exit? Oh, the exit's turned off. Oh, shut up. Stay back. Shoot the lights. What? No. Gah! Hang on. What was shoot the lights? Shoot out the lights. The lights are out. Check on the kids and make sure... Oh. Hmm. So I suppose... That will... Uh, so we're downstairs. We need to go upstairs. The lights are out. Yeah. Better check on the kids. Uh-oh. Rut roll. Hello? No. 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 If this is your idea of a joke... I'm not laughing. Mind your tongue, you little whore, or I'll mind it for you. Listen, asshole, I don't know where you get the nerve. Be quiet! You'll mind your manners if you ever want to see your little piggies again. Piggies? What the? Are you talking about the kids? Hmm. I wonder what their bones taste like. Hello? Hello? I need to check on the kids fast. Ah, oh, you can't leave me hanging there. You can't leave me hanging there. There you go, guys. That was Midnight Special. I really enjoyed that. Um, it had that kind of splatterhouse aesthetic with the... Mega Drive esque 16 bit era, even with like the kind of MIDI files, like everything was on point. Um, yeah, I wondered if um, I didn't explore everything. I'm sure that I may have been able to find the second half of the key, and then we could have probably investigated some of the other rooms. But this does look like to be a kind of sprawling uh, point and click adventure of yesteryear, which I'm really excited about. Um, I'm definitely going to be keeping my eyes on this one. Uh, because I think we're going to be getting a different bit of, uh, like, the babysitter's dreamscape environment as well. Um, it looks like we're going to have to be running away, like, in, when we went down into the pool area where that monster was and we had to run. And it seems that light sources will play an element in this. It did seem that we don't really have a health meter. We have an insanity meter, which I always enjoy with these type of things. If we can put on lights to alleviate that, then all the better. And, uh, yeah, I'm guessing we're going to find out more about the lore here. Um, anyway, guys, uh, that was Midnight Special. Leave your thoughts and comments below. Uh, like or dislike the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. 
Otherwise, the babysitter will not be putting you to bed this evening. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Stay ghoulish. Bye.